Hi guys, I am Nitin and uh, today I am going to talk about Autolycus. This is one of the projects which I started as a beginner. So when I wanted to learn about React, Next.js and building web applications, this was my very first project which I started and I open sourced it very quickly uh, because I think the, the quality it provides is very good and the problem it solves is really really amazing. So I have been using Torrent Clowns for a very long time and what's annoying is uh, first of all they will be installed on your system so you cannot use it at multiple locations and uh, they tend to seed the files even when you're not using it and there are seed box uh, options available for, uh, for example there is an application called seeder which is cloud based where it is hosted on their server you can put your magnet link and download the files um, it, it has limitations and the free tier may only give you 2 gb of uh, bandwidth to download for but uh, if you want to host something on your own um, there are very workarounds for example deluge is one of the options and then you can pair it with plex to build your multimedia library download things and then stream but this all becomes overkill sometimes and uh, i wanted to have my own application with my own um, taste i wanted to customize uh, the applications so i embarked on a journey to build autolycus this is a cloud-based application you can self-host it either on a raspberry pi on your local system you can also run it locally so uh, the V1 project actually started almost five years ago and uh, it has gained 126 stars on GitHub. I'm very proud of that. But uh, as a beginner, when I started that, I had done a lot of mistakes because I was just wandering around. I didn't know the correct way to do things. And uh, so I stopped developing that further because I started learning about technologies. And now that I have already like passed five or eight years of experience, uh, not in software development, but uh, overall when my career started, but I had good enough experience and I have built a lot of applications. So I wanted to use all of those experiences to build something which can be really useful. So for example, in the V1, um, I was constantly polling uh, the HTTP request to get the latest updates, um, which is not very efficient. So I, first of all, I wanted to replace that with WebSocket so that server can directly push the updates whenever it is available. And I also had the idea to do video transcoding so that if you downloaded, let's say, a 1080p or 4K resolution video file and you wanted to stream it directly, uh, it won't be easy. First of all, due to bandwidth requirements, if you're running it on a limited bandwidth. Secondly, a lot of devices may not support it as well. So I wanted to have a inbuilt transcoding functionality to it. Um, but, you know, when you start to develop software which are complex, uh, there will be challenges for example even just for running a transcoding task you cannot do it in the same life cycle of the request response because it is time taking so it has to be delivered to some uh, worker background uh, thread so i learned about how to process tasks in the background so these are some of the technologies which i implemented so uh, let's quickly talk about the stack i'm using so i'm using fast api for the back end next.js for the front end and mongodb for the database and celery to do the background jobs and uh, I have also changed the repository. So I have made the V1, which was initially released as public archive and the version two, although I still call it Autolycus, this is hosted on another organization repository, which I'm planning to put all my open source projects on from now here on. So uh, you can go and check out the code. Uh, I will link the repository URL in the description, but uh, let's quickly go and see a demo. So that would be nice. Um, so here on my screen, you can see uh, this is the again very similar UI but a lot of things has changed um, so first of all now it supports natively switching between light mode and dark mode previously it, it was light mode and then I later hard coded the dark mode because a lot of people requested it but I had no way to switch between these two because obviously I didn't know how to do things so uh, this is the first thing which I did and that is to allow to stream between light mode and dark mode and uh, as you can see I already have a file downloaded which is 3.4 gigabytes and this is a torrent card when I click on it you can see the content of it and you can download it or, or rename it or delete it whatever you want to do with it this is for a single file um, but let's do something more unique so I wanted to test out the video playback quality so I'll just search for 1080p um, remember I'm not uh, giving you tips on how to do uh, piracy it's just that uh, it's available so I'm using it for testing purposes so I'll just copy a link from this TPB site uh, for a uh, video and let's paste it here and you see this this new torrent card which is not in the v1 so now there's an option to pause the downloading in midway so let's say uh, we have five percent downloaded and i can pause this 
okay and you can put any other magnet url which you may have on high priority to download that first while this is still in pause state and you can resume it as well so this is again new feature which i implemented and then we have uh, this card which shows speed downloading and also interestingly the time remaining although i want to give give credit where it is due so i have one of my friend which i involved in the project so he have worked on the uh, front end part and i have worked on the back end obviously um, so um let's get uh, wait for it to download and then i will explore the file browser which is awesome you can browse through directories and uh, request files download things move things around rename things so it gives you a lot of flexibility about managing your files there are some hidden features as well so if two users are downloading from the same magnet link it will just copy the content from the user which has already downloaded it and then if they even have made any changes and the changes will be redownloaded from the original magnet source so it saves times and uh, if you have a large file and multiple users are downloading it in that case it will just copy it from the directory where one person has downloaded it for the first time so it won't do stress on your network bandwidth and it will just quickly download things i think i borrowed this idea from the cedar they have this huge library where they keep things downloaded and if some new uh, request for the same content then instead of fetching it from the torrent trackers it just uh, copies it from their own local storage from other users storage accounts okay so we have this file downloaded here i'm excited to see it uh, okay so this is the content of that uh, torrent uh, file uh, usually if it's a multiple file you, and you will find a directory here and if it's single file you will be just see the file available so let's go to this directory and you can see the content so we have our text file and we have our mkb file let's try to play it so the video files are playable so you can play it and uh, this is a 1080p video and i see it's playing this nice and we are short of bandwidth so i'm not sure if this will play properly so what i'm going to do here now is i'm going to transcode this and i realized i have not yet pushed the transcoding mm -hmm, logic although it's in the back end um so it's available you can transcode this and you can play it in, in lower resolutions like 480p and other things so this was the small showcase video about the project autolycus and where it is now you have this um, very good uh, side information window for the torrent file and uh, you have the ability to browse files and this file browser is again built from scratch again with the same ideas from the version one of the autolycus we have the light and dark toggles and uh, this was all about the project i hope you find it interesting and and you can go and check out the view one here which was which also has some screenshot of the previous version and then you can go to this url to look for the latest version um, uh, many users have requested us to release the image files pre-built image files for the application um i will do that but right now because it is in development so i don't think it makes sense to take an additional step just to build things for different devices for example for Raspberry Pi that are ARM based devices I need to build the image separately for them and then for people who are using normal Intel or AMD CPUs then x86 architecture images needs to be built and released so that takes a lot of effort so I have planned to do it in the future but not right now I just wanted to showcase you the application and uh, how much it has evolved from beginning and uh, you can go to network tabs click on this WS and see the websocket messages if you like to so let's do a test um, I am going to click on this copy the magnet and we'll just delete this file for now and let's try to re-download it and see the websocket messages okay so you may not see it right now because uh, the tab is empty I may have to refresh it to be able to see the link which is created initially when the application loads uh, this one this socket IO link and then I can go to messages, uh, let the application load. This is running over VPN, so it will be quite slow, but you will see the messages. Okay, uh, let's resume this. Okay, and you can see the, the progress is updated via WebSockets. Previously, it was all done uh, through the HTTP request, but that is clean now. So i'm not requesting it from the server to get me the latest uh, updates instead whenever the updates are ready the server is directly pushing it to the user and if you happen to open this same application on two multiple devices you will have two socket connections but both will be updated at the same time so that's also some full features
Oh, so this will finish downloading in a couple of moments, but I think this was all about the project that I wanted to showcase. And um, I think a lot of people will like it. Um, uh, there were 126 people who were, um, had started this project and I probably have tried this as well, but uh, because it has moved to a new URL, so I see not a lot of people have discovered it right now, but I hope so that you will discover it very soon. So this is all about the project and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just do a like or subscribe to the channel. This will help us boost the ranking. I know I'm not very much uh, relevant with how fast I do things. Uh, I take time to upload videos, but if you can hear the noise in the background, so there's some construction going on, so I cannot put out a lot of time to do these things but i will try to be consistent in the future i've said this in a lot of videos but i don't know someday someday i will be consistent <laughs> okay then bye peace out